Hi, I'm Clark. And I'm Emily. On Sailing Vessel Temptress. And if you watch our channel, you know that we live and travel aboard this antique sailboat. And every month we sit down to tell you what's going on, how much we've spent, and all kinds of other details about our lives. This is what we've done for the last month. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. We opted out of a typical American life to live more independently, frugally, and off the grid. We currently travel the world aboard our antique sailboat named Temptress. Each month we sit down to tell you where we are, what we're doing, share the best and worst moments, answer questions, and tell you exactly how much it costs us to live this life. This is our adventure log for April 2022. So today we're going to shoot our adventure log for the month. Tomorrow we're going to do another live stream. So if you've got questions, particularly about some of the new stuff we're doing, that's a great time to do it. Uh, we'll put the time below in the description of this video. You can always check just before, but I think it's going to be 2 o'clock Eastern Time Sunday. Yep, and you don't have to be a patron to participate, although we might give your question special preference for our <laughs> patron. Um, so where are we? What's it like here? We're still in the Dominican Republic. The weather is getting hot. We're coming up on hurricane season. It is getting hotter, but it's also getting much windier in the middle of the day, which kind of blows away a lot of the heat, which mm -hmm. is very nice. Um, we are living not on Temptress where we are now. We are living on another boat while we redo Temptress, which as you can see, Temptress is getting much more shiny. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be back to uh, Temptress sometime very soon. Uh -huh. Lupron, especially this time of year, has a lot of transients going through. People coming from the north, trying to make their way to Grenada, you know, that kind of a thing. People with insurance. People with insurance that need to go to <laughs> Grenada, yes. Um, well, it's been great because we've been doing this for long enough that people that kind of started their sailing career looking at our videos are buying boats and actually going. Yeah. So people are coming by and saying, hey, that's Temptress, and coming by and saying hi. It's been really a, a thrill for us to have all you guys that are viewing. Yep. So if any of you ever see Temptress in a bay in your future of sailing, come on over and knock on the hall. Yes, we've been meeting lots of new friends. We've also been getting ready to say goodbye to old friends who are leaving, finally, who aren't here as long as we've been here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we've been here longer than we have, and it's time for them <laughs> to leave. Uh, we'll be leaving sometime soon, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, but meeting lots of people. So that's been a, a fun part of the month. Uh, general updates. Uh, you know us, we have lots of projects and inventions and things going on all the time. The two long-term projects we've been working on. We have a couple okay. updates on the the battery bank management system, the Bank Manager Plus. What's new with that, Clark? Well, I'll have real detail in tomorrow's adventure log. Obviously, we've recorded this a while before, so, you know, I just don't know right now. Uh, but I have 60 new boards on Temptress that all work. So we're going to uh, solder them up and send them to Wisconsin for distribution. So you guys that are on the list, there's new stock coming yep. from a board's point of view. We've got, I don't know, 30 contactors, something like that, but more coming. That's posed a bit of a problem. Uh, just this supply chain stuff lately is a pain. Yeah, so we have but, your orders. A lot of people are waiting for us. Yes, but, yes, we have your orders. And then the, the one that's going to hold things up, I'm sorry, but it's the silly little plastic cases that are made in the United States. I thought that it would be a nothing thing, called them up to get some more of them, and they said, oh, that's going to be a while. But I think that's like only two or three weeks, and then that'll be together. We have some cases. We have like probably 15 or 20 of them. Yeah, so we've sold out all our stock. We've got almost enough to do another run yeah. but uh if you sign up on the survey we got your order and we'll be sending you and this time i bought all enough of all the supporting stuff to do 100 boards so this should be less in the future mm -hmm. uh, and i'll order another uh, group of boards as soon as there are components but again now we get to microprocessing chips oh i just whine all day about this uh the other thing is the air conditioner they're actually shipping now which is kind of uh exciting uh, David and Kendra are enjoying theirs. They're getting better numbers than I got. Uh, I guess I was a little conservative in the video. I tend to not try to oversell things. So um, they're they're using very little power right now. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And other projects on the boat? Well, uh, that interior job. Uh, we've taken temperatures right down to her original wood. This hasn't happened in 50 years. She's like a new boat inside. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, when I bought this boat 30 some years ago, there were leaks. And I just kind of decided they couldn't be fixed because they hadn't been fixed in all the time the boat was around. Well, actually on Emily's urging, we decided to throw in big 
and I tore the teak decks back all around the house and uh, filled that all in with uh, proper components, basically rebuilt that structure and then put the teak decks back down. So you have to dry boat, yeah. absolutely dry. Now the water had caused rot over the years. We fixed all the rot. It's like a new boat inside. Yeah, here. yeah. The ceilings actually look good, mm -hmm. and all we some of the trim we had to fabricate because it's been off for so long that we didn't actually have the trim pieces because there was just a leak there. But everything is all nice and tidy, and mm -hmm. it looks really good now. So we're really proud of that. We've been using a lot of Total Boat products. Uh, we used something called Halcyon on the mm -hmm. walls, which allowed us to put up to five coats a day on it, and it was water based. So it was really easy to clean up, and it didn't smell, so we could hang out here in the boat and do a lot of work. We've been really surprised about that product. We wouldn't have chosen it mm -hmm. ourselves. So it was kind of lucky that Contact did us yeah. uh, to do that. Uh, we're using something that's bilge paint right now, but we're not <laughs> using it in the bilge because we're not touching the bilge. Um, but we are I using I painted it. the bilge years ago. They're fine. Yeah, They're 25 just years be ago. Dirty. It's all fine. <laughs> um, but the bathroom, we were using bilge paint in the bathroom, which I'm really excited about because uh -huh. it's got like almost like a tile finish to it and it's going to be much easier to clean i think but that stuff is smelly so we had to <laughs> put it on and then run away from the boat and we're also using it inside the fridge which is also a high moisture area um so we're getting a little experience with that product too which is really fast drying but takes a long time to cure learning a lot about that so we'll probably do some more videos about those particular products yeah. and they're sending us some more stuff to do the exterior of the boat right. we have some wood that needs painting we're going to redo the house uh, um, exterior varnish, they've given us bottom paint, and there's oh, some paint white too. paint that you are going to do the table with. Yeah, it's called wet edge. It's kind of neat. Um, you know, I'm usually like trying to save money, and I know that product works, so I'll just buy that product and try to do it again. Well, since they're offering these things free to us, we're experimenting. Yeah. And you know, I've been using products that I bought 30 years ago, the same product. That were the cutting edge of technology, yeah, probably. Yeah, time's but... marched on. Things have gotten better. But yeah. I, I needed somebody ahead of me that I trusted that said this works. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they work. I mean, the, the varnish isn't exactly the same as varnish. It's a different deal. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's really a good product. I, I'm not going back. Yeah, and we're testing. There's actually some places like that, uh, like the floors we're doing with polyurethane because the rest of the floors are polyurethane. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing some test places like on the, the hatches. I'm doing one side with polyurethane and one side with the gleam and one side. Yeah. Uh, to kind of just do an experiment because I'm curious. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> the fridge, you've been working on the fridge a lot. Yeah, the fridge was under one of the leaks, so it had some rot in some of the wooden structure. Uh, so I've taken the lid right off it, uh, taken that opportunity to make the lid better, and Emily's painted it. She's the queen of changing colors of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a friend in on the island that has really good tools, so I had access to a table saw. So I was able to redo the structure out of mahogany and rebuild the whole top of the fridge. And uh, that's going to be as good as new now. So, geez, every 50 years ago or so, you've got to just redo a boat. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the other big thing has been the upholstery. Um, the upholstery was quite dirty. We hadn't washed it in maybe three years, mm -hmm. something like that. So we not only did the upholstery, but we took the foam out and stomped that and got all the blackness to come out of it. Uh, we have a friend ashore that has a house, and so we were doing that all day. And then it took another week for it to dry. So yeah. we had to lay them on the sun and then jump on them and do all well, kinds of stuff to dry now. them out. But yeah, so we're starting to put the starting to put the boat back together, which yep. is nice. We can actually sit comfortably in the boat. And sound being what it is, we couldn't really record sound in this boat without the upholstery. It sounds weird, but that absorbs all the sound. Otherwise, it's like an echo chamber in here. Mm -hmm. So this has been a really good safe place to have the boat more, not worry about dragging and having to run mm -hmm. the engine. So we're just really safe and secure here. And we've got Manuel, our Manuel labor mm -hmm. uh, -er, to uh, help us with some of the big things, scraping and sanding. And this has just been an awesome way to work on the boat. Yeah. Back in Florida, it was much different. Well, about four years ago now, three years ago, I don't know, I lose track. But the last time we went back to the States, we went for some specific reasons. We wanted to buy a new dinghy and motor, and that would have been expensive to get out here. And we were only in the Bahamas, so it wasn't like it's a huge thing to go back. But we got back and said, let's do all this project. Well, where we could put Temptress was three hours from our house, and yeah. we wanted to live in our house. So it was Long a three-hour drive. drive back and forth. And then we had to live in the boat while we were tearing it apart. And we kind of said, no, let's not do that project. No, let's not do that one. Well, out here, it's so easy, and the labor is cheap, and you can basically get anything you need, maybe a little more expensive, but you can get it shipped yeah. in. 
Um, if you need to do a lot of work on your boat and that's keeping you from going sailing, if it's seaworthy, maybe come to the Dominican Republic and finish it up here. Yeah, or other safe harbor, yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's the difference between having to drive three hours, put on one coat of varnish, then drive home or sleep in, you know, mm -hmm. the hot, smelly boat and then do another coat in the morning. Or here, we just go over, put on a coat, go back, watch an episode of TV, come <laughs> back, put another coat on. And yeah. It's been really cool. And if you're not lucky enough to have a friend loan you a boat, which has been just great for us, you can rent um, a simple apartment in yeah, for a like town. Yeah, 50 for bucks like, a month. Yeah, bucks a it's month. like nothing. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's a lot of advantages to doing things here. Like load all the stuff you need, sail to a place like this, encamp for a while and finish your boat up. Yeah, it's and not even a if, ridiculous idea. Even if you don't ship all the stuff to you, there's something here called Box Pack where you can get things couriered over from the state. So you can order stuff from Amazon. We've been getting stuff from Toro Boat. We've been getting other chandlery stuff, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I know we're dwelling on that, but getting stuff delivered is always a problem. In the Bahamas, it's frightfully expensive and very difficult. And here it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. Actually. Yeah, we have a big Amazon bill. Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, so basically working on the boat has been our daily life this month. We've been mm -hmm. eating out a lot more because we haven't had the energy or the space to really cook. So lots of eating out, which has been fun because we've been discovering new things to try. Uh -huh. And sometimes the cheapest food here is the best food, just like the plato del dia, which yeah. is like chicken, beans, rice, salad. It's always almost the cheapest thing on the menu, but it's usually really good. Yeah, and it's available all over Latin America. Just say Plata de Dea. That could be your first Spanish words. Plata de Dea. <laughs> and uh, what else have we been working on? Well, speaking of restaurants, we've developed a really close friendship with a woman that owns a local restaurant. So we've been running a trivia competition at a restaurant to kind of maybe bring some people in and have mm -hmm. some fun. We used to do this in the Bahamas. This is a smaller community, so... We're not having the, the huge turnouts we have, but it's still pretty pretty yeah. cool way to spend an afternoon. We met up with a few different of our viewers, gone on some little hiking adventures, Yeah, uh, which is fun. I've taken out my little dinghy sailing a couple times, which is good. I had some finishing touches to do, but it's ready to go. Who wants to see a sailing video of Emily sailing her little dinghy? With the caveat, we just got a new toy. We got one of those 360 cameras that if you rig it, it kind of looks like a drone shot that's hovering right over her dinghy. Yeah. I think that would be just nice, just sailing around the bay. And if you ask her real nice, she might do it. And if you Maybe have a screaming. VR device or you want to pan around with your cell phone, you can actually look wherever you want to look while she's sailing. I think that'd be a cute video. That, Wouldn't be one of our weekly videos, just an extra one. Yeah, I've wanted to do a video of me sailing, but it's hard to sail and to say, well, okay, that's interesting right now. And then that's yeah. interesting right now. So yeah, that's a good experiment for that. Yep toy that we have. Um, let's see. Let's talk about the budget. Hey, Emily with the budget. How's the budget going? I have no idea. Well, next month we'll have a budget. We will. I have a spreadsheet started, so rather than trying to keep track of receipts all over the place, I do have a spreadsheet. So we'll be back on reporting our monthly budget every month. Know that it's probably pretty similar to our normal budget with a little bit more for labor and mm -hmm. a little bit more for eating out versus groceries. But yeah. I mean, we've been doing this for four years and basically <laughs> we usually don't go over a thousand bucks a month unless we need to buy a new sale or something like that, which yeah. happens maybe once a year, maybe and, an extra couple thousand a year. The budget of doing a refit isn't the budget of cruising. It's the budget of a refit. So it's just whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it would have been pointless. Yeah. But, but anyway, we're going to, we are counting and going back to normal life now. So yes. Uh, let's talk about intentional living. Like we talk about this stuff month by month, but mm -hmm. what are our plans for the rest of the year for hurricane season? That sort of thing. Well, first off, just health wise, I really got a lot of back pain after COVID and I've gone gluten free now for quite a while. That's given me a lower inflammation. I'm in better shape and now I can exercise more and I'm doing back exercises it's all coming back together. I think I'm getting ready to be able to brave the oceans again with my back. Mm -hmm. And there's a really inexpensive chiropractor here. I think it costs us, what, $16? To see yeah, it's uh, 800 pesos. So yeah, like 16 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So that's and, been helping. Yeah. And people who know chiropractors, I've never been to anybody but him in my whole life, but people who know chiropractors say he's very good. He is very effective. I've been to other chiropractors before. This is just like quick and dirty and get it done. Mm -hmm. Crack your bones. <laughs> Feel better. 
So, uh, something interesting we are talking about for hurricane season is leaving the boat here since it's so safe and secure. And we've done summer here before. Mm -hmm. We know what that's like. Um, going home to see family in New York, yep. seeing family in Wisconsin, and taking uh, your parents' truck camper mm -hmm. across the U.S. from New York to Florida, but not that way. Like that way. <laughs> and seeing all there is to see. So, um, yeah, we're talking semi-seriously about that in July and August. So if you have ideas about where we should stop or you want us to stop uh, near you, leave a comment below or talk to us on Patreon because we're going to be looking for places that we can park yep. uh, our truck camper and places to go and local knowledge. Yeah, I know very little about living that life. So, uh, you know, if you want to invite us in and there's just some really great natural thing to see. I'm not really a big city person. Yeah, we're not going to Vegas. Yeah. We're not going to New York City, <laughs> all those things. But it's going to be different because here we like load up the boat like a spaceship and weight doesn't matter and we want to take everything that we need and we're just running on the wind right so this we'll be buying gas and we'll be trying to take as little as possible and this grocery store and is live all off over the land the place. it'll be a very different yeah. side of this intentional nomadic living so i'm kind of interested in it yeah i'm excited to make a packing list <laughs> i'm excited to organize and he's excited to trick out the camper with solar panels and a <laughs> battery bank management system and maybe an air conditioner. Yeah, it, it would be uh, a great opportunity for me to work on the development of the RV version of this air conditioner. I think it's got a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. So, Emily, what was the best that happened this month? Uh, I think tidying up a lot of the boat with nice hospital corners of, uh, <laughs> like, I just can't stop looking at the ceiling because it's so white. And so nice, and the walls are looking good, and it feels good. I mean, the whole boat isn't done. We have, there's a bulkhead, like, this is the length of our boat. We chose this bulkhead and this bulkhead, and we're redoing everything between there. Then we can move back into that space, and then we can destroy the aft cabin and fix it up, or destroy the forward cabin and fix it up. So we're really only like two thirds done when we're done with this part. But it's nice to see the after shots, mm -hmm. so to speak, after you've put in all this work. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of work. What about you? What do you think? What's your favorite part of the month? Well, I got to agree. It's the option, option to get back aboard Temptress. Um, so I'm going to do the worst part of the month because for me, the worst part of the month is it is getting hotter and the boat we're on just doesn't have the infrastructure. It doesn't even have nice fans. They're loud, clanky things that don't seem to actually cool yeah. anything. So it's starting to get uncomfortable. You know, I'm a big guy and I get hot easy. Where I know Temptress, she's got good ventilation, she's got good fans, and you know, at night, if it's raining or something, we could hit that switch and just have it be perfectly comfortable. Yeah. So this... I want my boat back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm developing more of an appreciation for all the systems and things that you put in onto Temptress. Um, like, you know, living on a boat is kind of roughing it, but we're not roughing it nearly as much as a lot of other people on boats. Like, the fact that we have hot water on demand to take showers is really nice, because we just have cold water on the other boat, which is sufficient but it's not as as nice and we just have a bigger kitchen we have a really reliable uh fridge and freezer we've got batteries that work like the other boat we're kind of like nurturing the batteries all the time to make sure that we have enough power yeah. we don't have really much outdoor hangout space i mean there's a bimini and dodger we could put up but it's just kind of like we're just yeah squatting there and this there's like even just like the cushions like are thicker <laughs> everything is nicer she's been choice. my mad science project for 30 years so i've just made all these little subtle upgrades here and there that i don't even think of anymore but now that i moved onto another boat i realized oh geez the power system should just work you shouldn't have to think about it it should just work all the time mm -hmm. yeah absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely recognizing what's important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. besides the obvious <laughs> Uh, I think that's probably it for the month. Uh -huh. Big thank you to everybody who's hit that subscribe button and to everybody who supports us on Patreon. All your names will be scrolling over there, probably. Um, and tune in tomorrow for our live stream with patrons and with everybody. Uh, and we'll answer questions and talk about you and your plans and what we can do to help you. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Goodbye from Temptress. Bye from Temptress. When we met, we knew that we did things differently. But with no regrets, both living life authentically. So we packed up this antique boat to make a life upon the sea.
Oh, he jumped. Look, he jumped in my hand. <laughs> Gets it a bunsy gas. Professional version of adult professional bed jumping.